Hello, good morning students. Today we'll study something regarding interspecific and intraspecific relationship. Interspecific relationship means the relationship among the organism of two different species and intraspecific is within the species. Now these relationships they are very important. Coming to the basis of these interaction, first foremost is the nature of food and mode of obtaining it through food that is the trophic chain we are attached with each and every individual kind of space needed as shelter next is the habit of species such as aggregation breeding so all these things they are the basis of interaction among different organisms now we have got eight different types of associations interactions they are Neutralism, commensalism, proto cooperation, mutualism, amensalism, predation, parasitism, and competition. Now, when we compare all these regarding the two species, that is species A and B, we can say that neutralism is the one where neither is affected. So, when they are not affected, we mark the association as zero. Right. So in commensalism, what happens? One is benefited, other is not affected. Plus and zero. Proto cooperation, both are affected, but it is not obligatory. It is not fixed. In mutualism, both are affected, both are benefited, but it is obligatory. Right. In amensalism, one is affected through the chemical produced by the other. So it is association is negative. The other which produces the chemical, it is not affected. Zero. So minus and zero association. Predation, one kills and consumes the other. Predator is positive and prey is negative. In parasitism, parasite and host. Host is negative, parasite is positive. In competition, a very, very important type of association which is so much pronounced in humans, right? Here, both the species, they are showing the negative impact. So competition is never healthy, right? Now coming to the first one, that is the neutralism. Neutralism is a type of interaction between individual of two species in which neither population affect each other. So we have got large number of examples. For example, shrews, rat, rabbit, they all live together in grassland without affecting each other. So none takes the other's food. They are living in harmony. That type of association is neutralism. Second is commensalism. In this relationship, two organisms of different species, where one is benefited, other remains unaffected, right? So the species that drives benefit is called commensal and the other species is known as the host. We have got large number of examples in this. So first important example is hermit crab and sea anemone. Sea anemone uses hermit crab shell to find new fields and feed very important the sea anemone is placed on the empty shell by the hermit crab because it has got the tentacles these tentacles they are having the pneumatocyst which protect this crab from the predators next example of commensalism is pilot fish and shark here pilot fish accompanies the shark in free swimming manner and it takes pieces of food that breaks off while eating food by the shark right and then is fish and sea urchin the sea urchin it has got the spines these spines they protect the fish from the predators now coming to the next association that is proto cooperation proto cooperation here what happens the two individuals they are there both are benefited but they are independent they are it is this association is non obligatory right so 
it does not mean that if one individual is not there other will die no both will remain they have got their other choices also example is bird and crocodile the plover bird enters the mouth of crocodile to feed on the leeches present in its teeth right bird gets the food and crocodile get rid of the blood sucking parasite right so plover bird can feed on other things also right it is not obligatory type of association a very good type of association which you have already seen it is bird and cattle small birds they sit on the cattle feed on the parasite like ticks and mice on the cattle or when the cattle it feeds it uproots the grass the insects they will come out and they feed on that so such a type of association it is the proto cooperation now next type of association is mutualism mutualism is it is a interaction between the two organism of different species where both the partners are mutually benefited and they cannot live separately a very good example is termite and flagellate the termites they feed on cellulose but see they are ni that these termites they do not have enzyme cellulase right that enzyme is provided by the flagellate trichonympha which lives in the gut of the termite right so if that flagellate is not present the termites they will die because of hunger so the young termites they normally seen licking the anus of the mother to get the infection of trichonympha so that they can feed on the cellulose right so such a type of association trichonympha produces it it gets the shelter whereas the termite gets the enzyme for the digestion of the cellulose so that it can uh, feed it cannot stay hungry right now coming to the next another example rhizobium leguminosorum and the leguminous plant this bacteria it, it lives in the root nodules of the leguminous plant where it is provided with shelter and it gives the nitrogenous product to the plant right so both the type of uh, both the individuals they are benefited and it is obligatory then mycorrhiza also another very good example a mycorrhiza attaches the root attacks the roots of the um, pinus right the plants which are growing on the hills so what happens the mycorrhiza it gets the food and space whereas this fungus mycorrhiza it provides the minerals to the plant because in the harsh environment the minerals they are provided to the plant by the mycorrhiza in soluble form next association is amensalism in this interaction one species it produces a chemical toxic chemical which does not allow the growth of the other the one which secretes the chemical it is known as amensal and the other species which is affected is known as the inhibitor right so the uh, amensal it produces allo chemicals they are also known as allomones right example is the fungus penicillin it produces penicillium right that is antibiotic which does not grow which does not allow the growth of staphylococcus right so the bacterial growth is affected by the secretions of the fungus so one species that is which produces the chemical is not affected by an, this association but the other one it is inhibited so it this type of association is zero minus type of association next in a very important example is the walnut tree the juglans regia 
it produces a chemical known as juglon which inhibits the growth of seedlings nearby and as a result of which you might have seen that around this walnut tree no other plant grows as a result of which it is happy plant because the others which grows in its vicinity definitely they will try to compete for the food and the minerals so it will get all the food and minerals so it produces a chemical does not allow the growth of others this is also known as the amensalism next type of association is known as the predation predation is very important type of association here one individual it captures kills and eat the other species right this association is shown by the predator and the prey predator is always the stronger one and the prey is the weaker one predation is a type of association which removes from the population the unhealthy the diseased the injured individual and making the population fit in the ecosystem so in this example we can say the predatory animals the carnivores that is the frog feeding on the insect the snakes feeding on the frog and similarly the lions they are feeding on the cattle so these are the examples of the predation type of association even the predatory plants they are there for example nepenthes sundew drosera so these plants they are growing in nitrogen deficient soil and as a result of which the nitrogen requirement is fulfilled by consuming the insects now coming to the next type of association it is parasitism in the parasitism we have got two individuals one is a parasite another is the host parasite is benefited from the host and the parasite generally causes some disease to the host right but the intensity of parasite is never to kill the host it is to feed on the host but never to kill the host it is weaker it gets the nourishment from the host and the host can live without the parasite but the parasite cannot live survive without the host so parasites they can be of endoparasite category ectoparasite temporary permanent parasites and endoparasite they are for example the tinea solium for example the pin worms the hook worms which are living inside the intestine ectoparasites they are like the head louse the rat fleas right the leeches then the temporary parasite which for sometimes they uh, come they uh, have the food for example the mosquitoes even the leeches even the bad bugs they are the temporary parasites and permanent means for example the tapeworm the worms round worms which continue to live inside the host for long long time they are the permanent ones now coming to the competition in the competition when two or more organisms they are competing for the same resource and fight and the competitions they can be between the same species or between the different species it can be for food shelter or space so here we can see uh, the intra specific competition that is within the same species for getting the peck order getting the supremacy whereas in the inter specific competition it is for food that is the capture food which is then stolen by some other individuals and then sphere fight it is there so the intra specific competition is more severe than the inter specific competition so i am very thankful to www.google.com for providing us beautiful pics so that we can explain our topic well thank you